tough game tonight, uh, but a good game played by Duke. I um, mean, I thought they were physical. They ran to the ball. Um, you know, they were able to cause a total of five turnovers on the day, and that's a lot of turnovers. Uh, you know, when you look at it, you know, five or actually three fumbles, uh, you know, one interception. Um, I, I, I thought they were the aggressor. I thought they did a good job, again, of, of slowing down or, or, or actually speeding up our quarterback uh, like tonight. Um, I thought we ran the ball well. It was good to see the momentum of us coming out scoring. Okay, man, but we found ourselves giving it right back with a busted coverage, uh, you know, on our second play of the game uh, defensively. You know, we, we, we have to keep fighting through the errors. Um, there's going to be some errors, but for us, man, we have to minimize these things. And as I look at the penalties, you know, six for 55, you know, guys are playing hard, but we just need to play smart. But there was some progress tonight. And what I told our guys in the locker room was we have to make sure uh, for us that we grab to get better. Um, I, I, I looked at this team play, and you know, you take the turnovers out of it, and I think it's it's a it's a different ball game, you know, in terms of how you're competing and what it feels like. But you don't, okay, like, like you don't get a chance to. So what we have to do uh, is eliminate the mistakes, eliminate the errors, and keep pushing forward because the breakthrough's going to come. Uh, I, I I believe that, and I want these guys to continue to believe that they do. Uh, I saw that in their eyes in the locker room. Are they a little frustrated? Absolutely. But, you know, they, you, you sort of keep what you kill in this. You sort of get what you earn, okay? And we, we haven't done enough to earn enough right now to make, to make these things sort of go away. So we're just going to continue to play, continue to keep uh, pushing the envelope. And what we'll do, uh, again, is see if we can uh, protect our quarterback along with running the football. Um, let's see if we can make sure every minute we defend the blade of grass because if you can do that and hold some teams to some field goals, games get tighter. Coach, uh, the last couple of weeks the defense has been under a lot of scrutiny. Today you take away that first big long play they had and, and you get up less than 300 yards of offense. I know they had some short fields at times, but there was some improvement. Can you tell us what you saw improvement-wise on your defense today? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought they ran to the ball better. I thought they... Uh, you know, tackle better at times. Um, you know, we, we, we're a better tackling team when we populate to the football. I thought they populated around the ball. I, I thought they made some things, you know, happen. I thought they forced this quarterback um, to, to, to make some decisions. He threw us some, and we just didn't capitalize. You know, so I, I thought they confused the quarterback at times. And we were able to, I mean, I don't know what they were on third down. Uh, you know, the total number on, three for ten. Okay, like three for ten on third down. I, I thought I thought we did a good job of you know finding ourselves, you know, getting off the field. Um, just penalties, mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the that's a that's a momentum killer when you're off the field and you run into the kicker. You know, so like these things are the things, man, that are haunting this football team little by little. So um, we'll just continue to work hard and can continue to talk about the cleanup, but I thought the get better was definitely there. 28 points off turnovers for Duke tonight. I think all four turnovers were inside the middle 25. Uh, just how much tougher does that make it for the defense when they have that short a field to defend in those situations? Tough. It, it, it makes it tough, but at some point in time, you got to put your foot down. Man, you just got to show some resolve, man. You, you got you to gotta, you gotta sort of erase it you know, a, a little bit. Make them kick field goals, right? I mean, we, we, we have opportunities, okay? And we just have to strain a little more, whether that's getting to the quarterback, whether that's getting to the ball carrier, whether that's defending and playing through the hands of the receivers. We just have to man, just, just, just strain a little more. And that's not, that's not coming from a place of frustration. That's just coming from a place where I know what good defense looks like. I know, what it, I, I know how it has to be played, and we're not there. So you, you, can, you can try the defense out there, man, but you have to be intentional. You know, man, man, I saw some I saw some good signs, right? But just not enough yet. And that's okay. Because we're we're, we're getting there. And once they get it, this group's not gonna shake it off. They're, they're gonna they're gonna continue to smell blood in the water. They're just not there yet. Obviously two of those turnovers, or you know, we're on Terry Wilkins in those yep. situations. What did you see from him on those two fumbles and why was it important to keep running him out there and give him more opportunities the rest of the game? Well Terry was upright. I mean I, he, I, that's 
That's kudos to Coach Lowry because he could have just easily took him out then. But Terry's going to have to play for us like this year. Um, and, you know, he was upright. He, he, he was not running behind his pads, and that's what we talk about as running backs. I mean, you have to run behind your pads. If you run behind your pads, you know, like there's two ways to protect it, okay? Shoulder pads and really you, with how we lock the football. But he was upright. And we saw it last week. And I made comments to Terry about it last week, coming through the hole upright. Um, nowadays, people people are hunting for the football. They're looking to put their hat on it. And this Duke team, uh, they, they did a good job. Terry Moore, uh, you know, good tackler. You know, they, they lost Jalen Stinson early, you know, to the targeting. And the, they, they came downhill, whether it was eight or more. They did a good job of putting their hat on the ball. And when you do that, generally it comes loose. We, we had opportunities as well, right? You just, just got to get more guys populated to the football. Coach, you utilized running back Jane Credle tonight. Mm -hmm. How did you factor him into this game? Well, we knew Flip was going to be big in this, obviously being down uh, like two guys, but he ran hard. I thought he, I, I thought he showed exactly why, you know, he's probably the most well-rounded back in terms of his ability to pass pro, uh, his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, and then, you know, the the, the runs. I think he averaged ten point two tonight, something like that. You know, which is you know seriously ridiculous, right? But um, he, he's he's he works hard every day. If you if you look at Flip and and, and how he practices, he's one of those guys. He, he practices extremely hard, and it shows up on game day. Like when you watch him, that that's that's really who he is. And I wish more guys, you know, would 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 follow that blueprint because the way you practice is truly the way you play. And that dude gives it as much as anybody every day. Another weather delay tonight. Yep. How do you think that impacted the game today? You know, made it long. Yeah. You know, I mean, right now, I mean, these these weather delays are are uh, annoying, you know, to say the least, but. You know, we we got no say in it. Man, we just have to adapt and adjust. Um, but uh, I'm tired of weather delays. I'm sure uh, our fan base, uh, our, uh, the Blue Raider Nation, is tired of uh, these weather delays. But like I said, man, we'll keep showing up. Man, we got to play better. And you know, we can't control that. But we can control how we play. So we got to do that. Uh, Coach, you had Grant Chadwick at punter tonight having a great game. <laughs> How important uh, is it to have a weapon like that that can completely flip the field, uh, especially as you get closer and closer to conference play? Yeah, you know, he's one of those true freshmen who, I think I've got a total of nine, you know, trotting on the field and playing. Uh, he's one of those guys who, he's uber confident. You know, a couple of weeks ago, he didn't have a great game, and he was, he, 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 it didn't phase him. You know, I, I think for him, uh, he loves to he he loves the he loves the challenge and to be challenged. So for me, when I look at him, I, I, I it's funny, man, because the dude is 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 cool, calm, and collected, man. He's 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 like the wolf, you know, in Paul Fisher. That dude that dude don't care what's coming at him, man. He's just gonna do what he does, and um, he is a weapon. I mean, I don't I don't know if many freshmen that can step into an environment, you know, like the way he has and just. You know, I mean, be dialed in. So um, he's he's special. Anything else, coach? Thank you. Thanks, guys.